You cannot pay because you can pay for a certain. Why? My professor here, while they were, it was a two billion project for five years. And it was just a pill of two days in some of other countries. Why can't they pay? Why can't the young friend who is running the young? Who is running the district? The PS? Where is well, dear viewers, welcome back to the analysis of Yoleno TV. I'm glad you're well from wherever you're watching this channel. Now, at this level, we cannot say it's business as usual. I started off by sharing a small video of a Kenyan citizen. That man is a bit aged. And at that age, I think he could be a grandpa. He could be a father to someone. And he could be an employer. It is so serious and it has reached that level. I mean, this is beyond party politics, beyond saying who you know, Auda, who you know, Azimio, who you know, Nini. That man is peacefully protesting. And you see, most of the time you find that most of these aged people, they die early. I mean, when I put them to a retire, and then. It, shit just happens. That could be someone's grandfather, someone's father, and someone's employer. He's talking about, why can't you pay me? I feel him, you know, especially from the remarks that Ruto made yesterday. Those remarks about the government being totally broke, unable to pay staffs, unable to pay bills. What else can you expect from such a person? This could be an investor also, ladies and gentlemen, a local investor who invested his, his finance on a project, hoping that he would reap from that project. And I think, is, if I'm not wrong, I hear like something like $2 billion. And the funds were given by the World Bank. So why is the government being unable to pay this investor? I want you to listen in to this video carefully. Listen in to some, some of those words. Just, just take your time. I want them to pay me so that I can be free in my government. The government wants money to pay the cost. But you cannot pay because you can pay for a certain. Why? My president here, while ago, it was a two billion project for five years. And it was just a pill of two days in some of other countries. Why can't they pay? Why can't the young friend who is running the young, who is running the district, the PS, where is... I feel him, ladies and gentlemen, I do. I do feel him. You know, to invest a lot of money, pay salaries, pay government uh, taxations, pay so many things that they don't get from the government, whatever is due to you. That's what we call frustrations. And this Kenya Kwanza government is frustrating Kenyans. The remarks from William Ruto yesterday when he delivered that speech, the disturbing speech, did not sit down well with most contractors, most investors. And probably that explains why Chinese are If you look at the roads which were dominated by Chinese, the roads which Chinese were, were, were actually uh, constructing, they are not there. I was walking down the, uh, I just happened to go to Jomvu, uh, that's within Mombasa County, and I could see that there are roads which were semi finished, but Chinese were not nowhere to be seen. So this also was an indication that the government is not doing, is not doing justice to contractors. Chinese have left. The local contractors will also shy away from delivering on these tenders. So what the government is doing is killing the dreams of most contractors and most companies Zitanguka. That's the reality, ladies and gentlemen. Zitanguka because there is no finance and the and Ruto said it, Akuna Pesa, we will not borrow. So what Ruto did was to create a helpless society by making such statements we are not which are not reassuring to the people that all is going to be well soon. He just talked about tough times. That is creating a hopeless society. Ladies and gentlemen, kindly share out your feedbacks are regarding this video that I've shared. And once again, I'd like to urge you to stay safe and stay blessed until you catch up again in our next analysis.